What's up, YouTube? Jade Antastic here, and yes, I am sans beard, sadly. I'm just going to point it out before we get too deep into the video, because I know a lot of you are probably going to be commenting about this. Things got a little bit out of hand on the stream last night, which you haven't been coming to the streams on Twitch. Uh, make sure you start doing that, because uh, you missed me shaving live on stream, because, uh, well, a couple of people sent in uh, enough bits to get me to do it, so... It was unfortunate. The beard's gone. Hopefully, it'll become it'll it'll, it'll come back quick. Don't worry. It's not gonna stay like this. That's just that's just not gonna happen. So we'll have a quick um, a quick moment here for the beard. All right, enough of that, ladies and gentlemen. Today we are going to be playing Fortnite on mobile. I am playing. On the new iPhone, the iPhone X, the iPhone 10, however you want to say it. And we're going to be playing a solo match today and just talking through some of the things that are different, a lot of the things that are the same, and if it is a viable uh, option of playing Fortnite, especially if you don't have a console or a PC to do so. So we're going to talk about that. So first things first, just in the lobby section, everything is the exact same. Everything's legit. It's a little condensed. Um... Because obviously, you know, screen real estate and things like that are, are uh, a factor here. But um, everything is still the same. You can see everything. You can change everything. Same skin, same accessories, same challenges. Literally the same everything. And uh, so we're just going to hop into a solo match. See how far along we can get. See how well we can do. See if we can even get a kill on the mobile version. So now obviously I am not playing in the uh, cross platform. You can see in the top right it says uh, fill with same platform, play against same platform. So everyone that I'm playing against here is uh, is also playing on the mobile edition. Alright, so loaded into the pre-game lobby and I apologize for looking down uh, but obviously I have to look at my phone here so I can see what's going on. Um, but this is the pre-game lobby so you'll notice the footsteps on the screen. So that lets me know that there are people around me uh, because obviously they understand that some people are going to be playing without sound uh, and so if someone is coming up around you it's going to put little footsteps up to alert you of that. If they're shooting, it puts a little like orange burst up there so you know that people are shooting. Uh, and it does the same thing for chests as well. So anything that you would need some kind of audio cue to alert you of normally on console or PC, it's going to do so with a little alert that pops up there. And obviously you can put headphones in, you can hear all the stuff happening. Uh, but of course they understand that like, you know, surround sound and all that kind of stuff and and uh people being out in public they might not have their headphones or whatever they might be playing on mute uh then they're gonna need some other cue to know what's going on in games so they added those little signals uh which is a pretty cool addition i, I like it at first i was like well i don't know if i really wanted to, to tell people if i'm coming or not because it's gonna be really hard to sneak up on people but then i thought about it and it's like it really does make a lot of sense um, so I understand why they did it. So flying in is the exact same. Tap the map. You can open it up there so we can see where we are flying in. I'm going to drop, uh, I don't know where I'm going to drop. I'm going to drop somewhere. Maybe I'll drop like Dusty Depot or maybe, you know what? I'm going to drop Tilted for this. We might have to do two rounds because depending on how quickly I die, <laughs> we might have to do two rounds here, but we're going to drop for Tilted. So we'll go ahead and drop now. Just a little touch of a button there. Go straight down for tilted controls uh, are really the only thing that I've found to be a factor so far. Uh, this is my third match ever on mobile, so I am definitely still trying to get used to controls, uh, the mobile controls, because it does obviously make a huge difference in uh, you know what you can and can't do. And wow, that guy got there really quick. Is he already on the building? Okay, so we're gonna go somewhere else. Uh, do someone got got the clock tower? So we're gonna go right here. Uh, let's get our gun out. Ooh, let's take those two. There we go. No, nope, we don't want to build. We want a pickaxe. There we go. Let's just build down. Same cues and everything as it is. Uh, let's get the SMG out. Doors do open automatically. So just keep that in mind. When you walk up to a door, it's going to open up automatically. Uh, so it looks like there is someone... In this building with me. We're going to see if we can get the jump on them or if we can even find them. So you can see the, the alerts popping up there letting me know that people are shooting around me. Uh, now obviously Tilted is just going to be ridiculous. There's going to be footsteps and gunshots everywhere. Uh, okay, that person just got killed by something right there. Oh, snap. I'm getting shot. I'm getting shot from far away. I'm not sure how that person can even see me right now, but we're going to drop down here. 
Let's see what this is. A lot of stuff gets picked up automatically, which is nice. Ooh, we only got five shots. Someone already... Someone down here with me, or are they above me? I think they're above me. Got him! Woo! Okay, so shotguns are definitely going to be a huge factor uh, in in the mobile version because obviously um, it's going to be a lot harder to aim with the other weapons. Uh, so, you know what, we're going to drop this for this. Let's go ahead and drink this real quick. And we're going to need to use that med kit as well. Uh, we're going to go ahead and pick that back up. So let's go ahead and get in this semi truck. We're gonna hang out here for a second, use this med kit, get healed back up. So we do have, whew, we got a kill so far. We got a purple scar, which is nice. That's pretty crazy. Uh, so we're gonna rearrange our weapons. And we're gonna get back out there, see if we can get another kill real quick. So let's see. Nope, that's not what I wanted. That's build backpacks over here. Uh, click and drag system is the same. We'll swap those. We'll put that there. All right. So we got a pretty pretty solid lineup of uh, of weapons there. Oh man, I only have one shotgun shot left. I heard a chest. Oh, it's right there. Okay. Uh, if you just stand next to a chest, I think, yeah, and just, just point at it, it does open up uh, pretty easily. Let me pick that up for that. There we go. Drink it real quick. Drink it real quick. There we go. So you just tap. Just tap to drink, um, just like you would shoot. So you just tap the right screen, and that's how that works. Uh, let's get the shotgun out just so we can get a jump on somebody. And let's see. We're going to need some stairs. There we go. Nope, we don't want the backpack. Go back to the guns. So like I said, the biggest thing that I have to get used to right now is definitely, definitely, definitely the controls. Other than that, it's, it's literally the same game, like queuing up. Um, plates like the way that it plays out and all that jazz it, it's insane they've done such a phenomenal job of porting this over uh, that it's it's actually hard for me to believe how they did it to be honest uh, and before I got this phone I did play uh, I played a game on my iPhone 7 plus and it ran smooth on that as well um, Woof, there we go. Uh, sorry. <laughs> uh, and it did play good. It played really smooth on that as well. So anyone who was worried about maybe having a, a model behind or something like that, um, you know, on the iPhone 7 Plus that was a year old, it worked um, swimmingly. So, you know, I wouldn't be too worried about it. I think we're in the circle right now. Also, apparently that guy left a chest in here. I think it's a floor above. Yeah, I think it's in here. So let's get that real quick. Get some wood while we're at it. So yeah, for this, you just you just point your hand at it, and it'll uh, if you get close enough, it'll open up. That is another purple scar. Are you kidding me? Um, so we're gonna drop the grenades for that actually, just so someone else can't pick that up. Oh, and it has more ammo, so we're gonna swap those, swap those back up. There we go. All right, so we got the scar. We got our shotgun. Uh, and I think, dude, we're dead center in the circle. We got a couple of kills under our belt. So let's see what we can do. Whoop! Yeah, we're we're kind of close range right now, so I'm going to switch to the shotgun. I don't see any other footsteps popping up or anything. So I'm wondering if people are just hiding out or if everyone else that was here is dead. Kind of trying to see if I can get some footsteps to, to pop out. One thing that I did notice that is a little difficult, at least for me, and maybe I don't know if I just have to adjust my phone's brightness settings or something like that, but um, the when it gets dark outside, it's really difficult. It's really hard to see. Um, like seeing other players and stuff like that, so just, just be aware of that. Uh, let's see. Nope, come on. My fat fingers. My fat, fat fingers. There we go. 
Get him in there. Get him in there. And it looks like it actually makes the uh, when you're when you're breaking walls and stuff, it looks like it makes it uh, like the the targets to break the wall a little bit quicker. It looks like it makes those um, closer, so you don't have to move around. You don't have to move around the pickaxe so much, which is nice. I kind of want to take that bush because I'm playing on mobile and it could probably come in handy. But I also want to go kind of hard uh, in this version just because. Uh, I'm trying to show it off, so I don't want it to be—I don't want it to be too campy of a round. Does the bush strat work on mobile? It actually looks like the bushes aren't as thick, so I wonder if if people can see you easier on mobile if you're in a bush than they can if you're on console or PC, because it's not—it doesn't render as many uh, leaves. I don't know. I don't know. All right, where's where's the map? Let's see. Map's about uh, storm's about to move in. Twenty-two people left now. See, we got Greasy Grove down there. The thing is, too, is like the distance of, of being able to see people from far away. Um, so I feel like on mobile it's going to be really difficult. Because even if I like hold the phone up here, um, you know, it, it depends on where, like, how close it's going to render people in. Um, like how close they have to be for you to see them. Um, where's that supply drop? What's over there? Should we try to go get the supply drop? Let's do it. Let's try to go get the supply drop. Why not? Might run into a little trouble along the way, but we might as well. We might as well try it. Another thing that I'm interested in seeing is if they, uh, if there's any controllers that you can hook up uh, to work out, you know, how well this is going to play out, and if you can map them correctly. Uh, if there's any controllers out there that work with the iPhone, the new iPhone, or some of the later iPhones um, that you can plug in and kind of work that way 14 people left now just gonna kind of run around for a second drops almost here this is dangerous all right oh it fell in the tree of course All right, what do we get? What am I hearing being built? We're going to swap that for that. Swap that for that. Get the scar back out. All right, circles right there. Eleven people left now. So we got to drop. We're, we're we're looking pretty good, boys. We're looking pretty good. Wondering if I should just go hang out in Greasy Grove for a second. I keep hearing like, but I don't know if they're bullets because they're not popping up on my screen. Or kind of what the deal is. I was really hoping to get a rocket launcher out of that drop. Ooh. I will take those shotgun shells. Alright, there's some shooting going on. That sounds pretty close. Still 11 people left. I wonder if I can, uh, if anyone has been here yet. Ooh, I don't think they have. Is this going to be in the circle, though? No, not really. And I wouldn't be able to get out of here. Oh, hello. I'll take that. Maybe we can set a trap. Come on. There we go. So a little tricky. You don't actually have to hold down on the boxes to get them to open. You just have to point your cursor at it for a second. Uh, and then they'll pop open for you. So kind of convenient there. Eight people left now. Those gunshots I heard were coming from like kind of over in this direction.
Ooh. There we go. Just kind of trap that up for a second. Can I close the door? Oh, I can. Okay, you just tap the door. Tap the door and closes the door. See if we can get anyone to pop in here. Seven people left now. I put that one there because I didn't know if there would be someone else in this house. Maybe upstairs. Alright, let's close that door. Did he not go down from the trap? Got him. Got him from that trap. Shoot, yeah, I want that. Close that. No, come on. Come on. No, come on. I want that. There we go. All right, get away from that stuff. Drink this. Jeez. So, I, like I said, man, the controls. The controls are going to be make or break. Um, oh, I have two. Oh, we had two of those. All right, I'm keeping that other one then. So, he's up on top of this hill? What? Right over his head. Come on, bro. Oh, he hit me. No, I stood still too long. I was trying to get the beat on him to get the sniper kill. Dang it. Gosh, dang it. I should have just kept moving. I should have rushed him with the rifle. I probably could have taken him out with the scar. Dang, man. Dang it. Uh, we had three kills. Three kills on mobile. Not bad. Not bad for the first, or well, for the third round, I guess, on mobile. Gosh, dang it, man. There you have it. There you have it. That is, uh, that's Fortnite. That's a Fortnite round on mobile on iOS, the new iPhone. Um, so there you go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, make sure you hit that like button. It is definitely, definitely, definitely a viable option, especially if you don't have a console, especially if you don't have a PC. The mobile version is a viable option of playing Fortnite. It really is. Especially, I mean, if you don't have a console and a PC and you're playing a lot of games on mobile anyway, the controls probably are not going to be that difficult for you to get used to in the first place. Uh, this person's got five kills, so that's pretty legit. Um... So I, I think you'll be able to transition pretty easily. And even if you are used to playing Fortnite, everything is literally the exact same except for the controls. So if you can look past those when you're out and about and you want to be playing uh, Fortnite on the go, you can totally play it on mobile. Absolutely, 100%. It's, uh, it's legit. It works. And uh, they've, done, they've done a phenomenal job. So I kind of wanted to see who was going to win this round and let it play out. But I don't know. They're, they're kind of taking their, their sweet time there. He drank a little shield. Let's see if he's going to run up. Okay, there we go. So let's watch this final shootout, maybe, if he's going to try to take him out. What are they doing? They're just running around. Boy, you better turn around, because that dude's going to snipe you. Because I think that's the guy that sniped me. Oh, he's got the beat on him. Here we go. There we go. Rush each other. Rush each other. Do it. Do it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, he's got the rocket. He's going to throw the rocket at him. There he goes. He's going to build. Oh, the storm's going to hurt him now. The storm's going to hurt him. Did he? Wait, did he run in? Oh, there he is. There he is. No, use the rocket. Ooh, this other guy. Oh, that's not the guy that killed me, I don't think. 
Oh, there it is. Iconic Jess won the game with six kills. Ladies and gentlemen, and the dance. There it is. Phenomenal. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I had a lot of fun. Fortnite Mobile is legit. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you're subscribed. And as always, I'll talk to you in the next video. Later. It's all